Okay, the term "bhen hogi teri" is for us who live in North. We are very familiar <laughs> with that. And also, my first question is to you: It's your first time in a comedy genre, na? After Trapped and yeah, City true. Lights and those intense roles. Out of, of after a lot of mental exhaustion, yes, it's my first light-hearted with a really gorgeous girl. <laughs> uh, good for you because we've <laughs> seen him as the sole crusader. Trapped last was you were like all by yeah, yourself. You didn't yeah, have an yeah, actor, yeah. but <laughs> honestly, as for an actor like you, you wanted to try the comedy genre, or I want I want to try everything as an actor. I want mm-hmm. to try action, comedy, love story. Uh, so whatever comes my way. Like I read a lot of scripts. Not like it's for the first time somebody offered me a, a like a light-hearted romantic comedy. Mm. I was offered such films earlier, but somehow they didn't. I was not too excited for them. So, but when this came my way, I I heard the narration. I first of all I was sold on the title only. Behano Giti. It's such a quirky title. I know. And I could just totally relate to it, being a North Indian. <laughs> so when I heard the script, I always thought this is it. This is something which you know which I should definitely do. Absolutely. And Shruti, you play yes. a Lucknowi girl. And yes. It was your first time in Lucknow. You hadn't been to Lucknow before. Well, I think I've visited like once, just in passing. Well, nothing I could remember particularly. And so your character Bini gets mm-hmm. brother zoned. Has it ever happened yeah. to you in real life? Everyone asks me this, but um, no, I I have never done that to someone, and I've not been behind zoned. <laughs> so com- comic genre actually yes. is a very tough genre. It's so, probably the toughest so to make people laugh. Exactly, and um, again, we are talking about the film. Mm-hmm. There was a lot of uh, with the CBFC. I mean, they found it no laughing matter. Uh, you dressed as Lord Shiva. Yeah. What's what, what's your take <coughs> on that? Because they even. Had an FIR lodged against the film. Yeah, some people were got hurt, I think, but our intentions were never like that. You know, um, Gattu is a character who works in Jagran Mandli and who dresses as Lord Shiva, and I've done that as a ch- as as a kid. I used to play Lord Shiva in in lot of my Mohalla ka Jagran. Mm. So it's something people do. It it exists in our society. People are playing Lord Shiva, and we're not making fun. Is somebody the character was doing that? And our and our film is not about that. Our film is about these two people, Gattu and Bini, and their and their whatever problems um, in their life. So. Yeah, yeah. I think our intentions were never to hurt anybody's sentiments. Do you think with the central board, I mean, we are taking ourselves too seriously? This has been going on for a while now. Um, I just hope they get a little lenient on things. And you know, we are filmmakers, we're artists, and we try and also be socially aware about things. Not like we're trying to uh, create controversies. We're just. If I may interject, yeah, yeah, yeah. um, I don't think it's the central board that actually did any. All cuts. these are mess. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, they asked for what they usually ask for in any film, which is their um, s- the duty or their job. Um, th- the two things are completely different. Yeah, this thing that the whole controversy happened is some people got hurt in Punjab, and that's. Yeah, I mean, we take ourselves yeah, too yeah. seriously. I mean, we just do not see the humor in life. That's what I meant, you know. <laughs> but the central board every Friday, somebody or the other does have an issue, <coughs> and the board needs to be revamped. Though this is not the platform to yeah, discuss that. Yeah, that's true. And uh, are you planning to hold a special screening for your father? Yeah, hopefully. Has he seen the rushes of the film, and what's been his take? Um, he likes it, um, and I'm sure he'll be more excited to watch the film than just the trailer. He tweeted about the trailer, and I was thrilled just to see his tweet. Like I'm a big fan of him, hmm. so for me just to have this idea that he must have seen, you know, me performing. Uh, so we'll he just, was just yeah. looking at me. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. There's some short bits only me. Only. <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, planted over film that's being directed by your dad. So we've already shot. Sure. So, what is he like, like as a director? Oh God, he's such a brilliant director. I think that's one of um, as a as an artist, as a daughter. I'd just say that it's one of his greatest strengths. His unsung strengths is he's a very very good director, and uh, one of my favorite directors to work with. Wow. Having been an actor, he just knows how to work with actors so beautifully. Hmm. It was a pleasure to work with him. So, do you prefer Kamal Hassan the actor, Kamal Hassan the director? I prefer Kamal Hassan the father. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> sweet. And also, you are now also playing Bose in a web series. Yeah. So, again, back to your series genre. So, what was that like? <laughs> uh, we're shooting for it. Uh, um, I'm very excited for it, and also a little nervous because you know it, I'm playing Bose. So, there's a lot of responsibility on my shoulder. Uh, but I think the our writers have done a fab job. The script is so well researched. And there's so much that we are telling about his life that people are not aware of, mm. um, both his personal and uh, you know his public life. And there's a mystery. There's a great mystery around him, uh, which also we are talking about in the series. So, what struck you most about uh, Subhash Chandra Bose? Because I think his passion, his just uh, his his true passion and his love for the motherland. I think all these people who have sacrificed their life lives for for us, for that, so that you and me can sit here and talk. I think it just it's so fascinating. 
and also then your with Hansel you've got Omarta, the film yeah, that's yeah, also a yeah. terror thing. Yes. So tell us a bit about that. <laughs> There's been a lot of talk well, about that as that's well. That's again, uh, it's based on a true story. It's about uh, Omar Sheikh. Um, so again, that's that's a very dark world. That that's a that's again the world which I was uh, mentally harassed and uh, it was mentally very taxing for me to play that part. Uh, but I think that that's what it gives me high as an actor. That's what I love to you know really go deep down into my parts and then and then come out of them and then start something new. And Shruti, also recently there's been a lot of talk about Sangamitra. Would you want to clear the air for our audiences? Because everybody was keen to see you as the warrior princess. I know, I was keen to see me as the warrior princess. <laughs> but, um, you know, sometimes things don't work out and that's fine and you just move on to the next thing. It's as simple as that, really. So with Bahubali being the kind of film that is now, everybody is looking at that kind of genre. It's exactly, you know, Indian stories and mythology. Any favorite characters that you would want to play on screen, both of you? I would love to play Karna, actually. From he's a very fascinating and yeah, character. Yeah, yeah, character yeah. Yeah. He's, li he's slightly complex uh, as a character which I really want, uh, you know, his internal and external, like whatever I've, I've read Mahabharata, mm. I've seen Mahabharata on TV. So Karna <coughs> always fascinated me. And what about you, Shruti? Since I'd love to play Hanuman, but I can't. But he's my favourite. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can ask your dad to make a film. Yeah. Also, he's the um, host in Big Boss. So what's his television outing like? Have you seen him? Um, you know what, it's such a big step for him and I'm so proud of him for being able to say I'm not going to be just this, I'm going to do more and he likes the platform because he's always excited by experiments and social experiments and I think that's what reality TV is and um, I loved his promo of it, I mean he's added his own charm and his own layer to it so I think he's going to be good at it. And also growing up as your father's daughter and your mom's also an accomplished actor and she yes. started as a child star because I remember watching both films. Of them. Both of them. Both of them child stars. So what was it like for you? Do you actually carry the weight of that legacy or you don't? I carry the positivity of it. Um, my surname, uh, my family, they are my strengths. And um, the other attachments are not something that we take seriously. Growing up though, it was a very simple home very very uncomplicated nothing to do with cinema except good movies to watch so no not really i didn't have to deal with the pressures per se and also you as an actor i mean you know you didn't want to be bound or stereotyped as you said that's why you're doing the films that you're doing what is it as an actor do you really want to see in the industry happen that one change that you we just make good films and i just hope good films make money so that make even more good films. So that's the only thing I always strive for, to see good stories, to see talent on screen, no matter where they come from. Mm. I just want people to, you know, tell their stories and tell their stories uh, fearlessly. Like the, the kind of films Hantasar is making. I think he's becoming voice of so many unheard like voices, which, mm. is, which is great, I think. We should tell all kinds of stories. And I'm not saying only, say, serious stories. We should have entertainment as well. No, absolutely, because earlier uh, these filmmakers had said that, you know, we are basically like, again, I'm coming to the central board and the moral police are not letting us show reality on screen. Do you think we actually, as a country, are scared to see the truth? We're seeing it everywhere. Mm. You open your newspaper, it's you read about it. Yeah. It's, it's, it's 24 hours on, on television, on news channels. Mm. So I don't know what are we shying away from? What are we hiding it? Who are we hiding it from? It's internet. Is Everybody's on internet. You know, people are getting it for so cheap these days. So people are seeing it. I don't know why are, then why aren't we allowing it on, on films? Um, I think that's that's something which I could never figure out. And coming back to Behen Hogi Teri, which was the most interesting aspect of the film that just did it for you, the USP of the film? It's very relatable. It's, yeah. it, uh, the characters are so real and I think people would just connect to them. And it's, and it's highly entertaining. It's damn funny. Um, and genuinely funny, you know, the, the, the kind of humor I would, like, I would like to watch on screen. The kind of humor uh, there was in Queen or Tanu Vets Manu. Mm. It follows, um, I think it's in the same genre. And also, we are looking for stories in the areas that have not been explored. Yeah. You know, usually it's Mumbai or Delhi, but now we are also going into the other cities. No, the beauty of this actually, if I may say so, is uh, for someone who's worked across the board mm. in languages, mm. this story is languageless. Yeah. It can connect to anyone, anywhere. Yeah. And that's what I loved most about it. I mean, I think people, people can watch it from the north to the south mm. and yeah. still relate to the characters. This is the thing these days, blurring those lines. This is like Bahubali managed to do it. Got yeah. north and yeah. south together. The whole world together, actually. Exactly, <laughs> because it's based on emotion, ultimately. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. before we wrap up, one memory that you take back with Behnogi Teri. 
I think the whole experience of making it, it was yeah. just so fantastic. And it was very positive. It, it was, was literally positive. like a family, like a small team that really believed in doing something good. Yeah, and the shooting in North Heat Thund was an experience. Yes, it was cold. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was what was it like for you from <laughs> Chennai to you know, experience the Thundi of North? I travel to cold places as well. <laughs> I know, but you know, just... I haven't been in Chennai actually for the past seven years of my life. Sure, so, that's yeah. <laughs> Cool. Thank you very much. All the very Thanks best. Thank you. And we'll see you in Bareilly ki Barfi after oh, that. Oh yes, yes. After this. Very so soon. You're really soon. getting into the comic zone. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> that's a very different film. Though they both, the both the characters belong to UP. But that's what I'm trying as an actor. How to, how I can make them different still. All the very best. Looking forward Thank to you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you so much. You so much.